Have you ever had the flu? Think fever, body aches, and fatigue. Most of us have been infected with the influenza virus at some point in our lives. But how do our cells get infected? Your cells are coated in sugars. Not like this sugar, though. Complex chains of sugars coat the surface of your cells. Simplified drawings of cells show them without sugars, but this is what the cell surface actually looks like with all the sugar chains. This sugar layer is super important. It lets cells identify each other and communicate. But pathogens like the influenza virus use these sugars to invade cells. The viruses then replicate in your cells and you get sick. Researchers are studying this sugar layer and the role it plays not only in influenza, but also in diseases like cancer. My lab developed a technology called lectin microarrays, which allows us to figure out the sugars present on the surface of cells. Researchers use these microarrays to study cancerous cells. On the left is a microarray for a normal cell. On the right is a cancerous cell. When a cell mutates, the sugar coat on its surface changes. We can see these changes as different patterns in the arrays. One sugar that increases dramatically in cancer cells is sialic acid. It allows mutated cells to hide from the immune system and improves the tumor's chances of survival. Scientists are using this knowledge to treat cancer. They are developing ways to unmask the cancer cells by removing the sialic acid from the surface. This lets the immune system do its job and kill the cancer cells. Understanding how these sugars change when we're sick is helping scientists come up with new strategies to treat diseases and keep us healthy. Thank you.